Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Repton 3. I am playing the Badger levels by Katie Rosane. There are only two left. They will both be without a map. So, oh dear. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a bit fast paced because there is no way I can prevent this egg from breaking and the spirit from uh, following me. So let's see where this leads us. I'm going to have to come back through this skull maze eventually to get the monster to follow me somewhere where it can be killed. Because even if there is fungus that I can release, this it would be a long, long wait for the fungus to get all the way through there. Okay, so the spirit has... I probably can't push that rock down there because it would land on the safe. Although maybe I can. But yeah, even if there is fungus, it would take forever for it to get all the way to the middle of that maze. So I have to... Well, here's a place that I could quite easily kill the monster. I just... Ah, but I can't get out of the top right area um, downwards, so... I'm just thinking if I try doing this, that area, entering here and exiting at the bottom, and the rock that's on this wall will have to be allowed to fall down there onto the diamond, but that doesn't make this puzzle impossible. So it will be possible to rearrange those rocks to exit down here. Okay, let's just check. So... All the levels in these two sets have generous time, which is helpful for Let's Playing. <laughs> oh, there's some spirits going around isolated rocks in there. We may be doing some spirit ferrying after all, although it may not be necessary. Ah! Talking of spirit ferrying, um, I mentioned it when I was playing Axolotl Screen H. I do at some point want to do an actual speedrun of that level. So anyone watching this who doesn't know what spirit ferrying refers to, I will be showing it off. And that was very annoying. Also, I'm going to have to um, look at the way the rock is going to move when I release it, because I have to make sure that the time bomb isn't going to get trapped. Okay, no, the rock will just land here where Repton is now. But I do have to make sure that no rock gets pushed down this skull maze. So one way that I was thinking of killing the monster from this egg is invalidated. Let's see what's beyond it. Okay, so I can push it here and I can go beyond it myself, but only at the cost of taking this earth, which will mean that the egg is now unstable. But it will be in position for this rock to kill it easily. Now, what's in this corner of the world? Rocks on safes. Well, the one of them can be allowed to fall down and then this one can now come here. Okay. Ah, but I can't continue into that bottom room without blocking my way into it, and I don't yet know whether I want to do that or not. I also don't know how to get round the other side of this rock. These adventures without a map. <laughs> um, oh, I just had a thought. If there, if there is no other way into the bottom right room, then 
Rather than my first instinct, I actually definitely want to make sure that I do go in here. And my first instinct was right after all, so I don't want to push that rock under any circumstances. Okay, what, what else is here? There's a key, but I can't get to it. Okay. This one, I think it's safe to say we are not doing two levels in one video. It is really... I, I, I love the feeling. Okay, that, that's, that's what is there. <laughs> I love the feeling of exploring a level without having a map for it. I do think that something was was lost from the game when Superior Interactive decided that all levels in the PC version would have maps. Although, of course, one can simply choose not to look at it. Let's deal with you now. The monster's rather jerky movements do not help with this. But running into the skull was my own fault. I wonder how many times I'm going to have to go through this skull maze at the start of the level. And I wonder how many times I should show it on camera. <laughs> Maybe we've already seen enough of it. So I think I can just go back and get the monster straight away. Come on. <sighs> this would be a very challenging level set to try to get the competition number without save states. In fact, is this... Is this a harder action sec segment than any that are in the canon levels? I think it might be, just because it's so long. So a lot of my viewers will know that I've written a series of walkthroughs for the game. And one feature of those is that I rate the difficulty of Repton screens on a scale that was originally 1 to 10, but it's become 1 to 15. Oh, I can take a break here. <laughs> so I was wondering where this, would, this um, screen would fit into the difficulty. And... It's hard to judge how the difficulty of an action segment like that compares against the difficulty of a hard puzzle. Okay, so that's done, but now for the hard puzzle. But I think now that that's done, I think I am safe in, uh, in not showing that on camera again anymore. Okay, so... If I let this rock fall where the diamond is, then I can let the rocks fall on the far right and push one right so that they'll be stacked neatly in a rectangle. And that does seem to be the solution. Like that. 
Then, of course, I let this one down by stepping up. Now I can just release the rock like that. This doesn't even need a Repton Shuffle. And we're done. Okay, so I do not push this rock. I push this egg. Take this diamond. And now if there's another key in the bottom left section, then the monster will end up here when I come out again. And that's good. So, by process of elimination, we have to go down here now. Okay, so, not exactly what I would call spirit ferrying. Because the spirit can be moved. Or rather, the rock can be moved without the spirit being right next to it at the time. So that's how the first one is connected. For the second one, uh, fairly easy, just... Okay, that's the bottom of the level. I don't yet know where the third spirit is going. So, one rock here. One here. Okay, there is nowhere for that spirit to go unless... Okay, it's needed for this cage. So I divert it to the outer wall, and the simplest way, well, the safest way of doing it is simply taking that earth tile. Okay. And up here... That monster should now be in place. How much of the level is actually done now? Is it nearly all of it? If so, that was a quicker level than I thought it was going to be. I have to go back down. Well, the skull maze does take up a lot of area, of course. There's no more diamonds here. So, yeah, I have to come down this way to enter this part. Okay, I can let this rock fall, walk around this and take the bottom diamond first. And if I push the first rock to the left, I can get out from there. Oh, and that wasn't what I wanted to do because of that rock. <sighs> okay, I'm going to pause and uh, unpause when I'm back at this part. Okay, back here. So, I think it's fairly clear what to do. I go through here. I take these diamonds now without pushing that rock either side. Then, if I push this, if I now push the rock to the right that I'm stuck and I can't get out, so what I need to do is go all the way back around the level. And this time, when I get to that rock, I do want to push it. I can also take these diamonds and crown. And that should be the last diamond on the level. Okay, so I was maybe mistaken. Uh, yep, that was the last. So I was maybe mistaken in my prognosis that this, le this level set wasn't going to get very hard. That was definitely the toughest level we've had so far. There is only one more left, and I'm very curious to know what Katie Rezane is going to throw at us. But that will be for another time and another video. Thank you for watching.